In this video, I will show you how you can combine Morph Influences with Mesh Fusion objects. So when I go to item mode, item mode, I have a profile and the profile is procedurally being extruded. So if I unhide that layer, then you see that this is part of the Mesh Fusion object and that egg shape also in they are set to trim so it's actually that profile which controls the shape of that procedural extrusion so if i deform this object then that extrusion gets deformed and then the mesh fusion object also gets deformed now you can combine this with morph maps so for instance i have already a couple of morph maps on my egg shape and if you go to lists you see that for the morph maps I have two morphs morph 1 and morph 2 and for my egg morph influence that I have assigned to the morph maps I have set that to morph 1 so that is that one and egg morph influence 2 that has been set to morph 2 so if I set my morph influence for my morph 2 to 0 then you see that the mesh fusion object updates so back to 100 and the mesh fusion object updates if I select my other morph influence for my more that has been set to morph 1 if I set that to 100 again you see that the mesh fusion object updates just like that so if I select that item then I can add another influence so morph influence double click that and I'm going to call that I'm going to copy and paste control C Control V and that is my Morph Influence 3. Now I'm not going to choose Morph 1 or Morph 2 for it. I'm going to create also a new map. So new map and I'm going to call that Morph 3. So for my Morph Influence 3 I'm going to set that to and it doesn't update yet. So maybe refresh yes now it's there morph 3 so now in component mode with that morph 3 selected I'm going to vertices maybe something from the, the top and maybe maybe scale this down and you see that the mesh fusion object also updates it has been set to deferred updates so I can easily operate on my geometry without a delay or much of a delay so to perspective so you see now that my mesh fusion object also has been updated and the advantage of that is that I can of course modulate the strength so if I only want this to be 10% then you see again it updates if I set it to 0 it has no influence to 50% or 150% or minus 50% and of course in this case because of the trim that won't make much of a difference the minus 50% if I of course have also a morph on this object so I will create a new map call it just morph add a morph influence to that and it already has been set to morph 100% and in component mode I'm going to select these verts and do it symmetrically 
W for move. Scale that out and you see that the mesh fusion object now also has been updated. So if I go back to my more egg morph 3 influence, so minus 50, minus 100, zero, minus 75, and of course I can also overshoot this one, so for instance 200%, and again the mesh fusion object updates. So one more three minus a hundred percent minus a hundred fifty percent. So I think this is an interesting way to rapidly change your mesh fusion objects non destructively. Just Add a morph to your mesh fusion objects, add a morph influence. For that influence, select the right morph map, and then you can have multiple maps, and you can combine how they create the actual form. So if I set that to minus 100, again it overshoots, minus 50, 50 the other way. So it's a way to quickly create different shapes with your mesh fusion objects. And I actually forgot to show you that you actually can create a output mesh of mesh fusion with these morphs. So if I set my mode to airtight final and I'll duplicate and convert to mesh, create mesh. So now I have my fusion mesh. If I hide that one unhide my original and adjust my morphs. So for instance, that one to minus 200 and the morph for my profile to 300%. You see now that I have a longer shape, maybe also my morph to, to 100%. So that is now more narrow and my morph 1 to 100 percent so I have a completely different shape right now select my fusion item airtight final duplicate and convert to mesh create mesh so that's now my new fusion item if I hide this and unhide that one you see maybe go to top will be more visible that's my second one so you can quickly create different shapes with morphs like that Hope you find it useful. Bye.